morning and happy new year <clears throat> this is gonna be a recovery 101 gear i think before you try to do any off-roading <clears throat> i put on heavy duty steel <clears throat> affordable off-road bumpers plenty of nice solid steel attachments Nice receiver hitch. <clears throat> this is not hollow. This is a solid block of steel. 10 ton. You gotta have a lock so no one just steals it. <clears throat> Make sure your bumper's attached right. Factory, it's just four, but this has reinforcements that go under. So stay on there. Air compressor. This one's not too expensive. Double double pumper. <clears throat> they say 35 psi in under two minutes. This one hooks to your battery. Got all the attachments. Plenty to get around a vehicle. <clears throat> this wasn't too expensive. Upgraded over the one that took about 15 minutes per tire. Got to have a good snatch block. 10 ton rated, greasable, something I got myself, upgraded from a cheesy one, good for synthetic or steel cable, pair of gloves, tree saver, toe strap, I need to get a kinetic but normally if I'm pulling someone out or helping someone it's on a tight trail, so hopefully just winch them out with snatch block tree saver i can get all kinds of different angles with the winch <clears throat> automotive fire extinguisher this stuff is just kind <clears> of <throat> tossed in here some kind of jack floor jack i got wood blocks <clears throat> tool block toolbox enough tools to take this whole xj apart in there it's pb blaster duct tape Hammer, knife or seat belt cutter. Normally stays on a seat belt. <clears throat> also window breaker on the back. Good pry bar, good machete. You got a cut through brush or whatever. Uh, some cheap traction mats. Full size spare tire. Get you off the trail and all the way home. Uh, tote. Extra oils, extra spare parts, <clears throat> good tires, the front, same thing, affordable off-road bumper, solid steel, <clears throat> extra heavy-duty mountain, not like factory. XJ weighs about 3,000 pounds stock, so 12,000 pound winch is kind of overkill but <clears throat> it'll do the job more <clears throat> toe points now when I put all this stuff on I added up the weight <clears throat> even the tires because they're probably I don't know 80 100 pounds a piece <clears throat> every time you upgrade put extra weight on your vehicle this is no longer a 3,000 pound vehicle I want to say the rear cargo area is this thing's only supposed to carry like 600 pounds maybe 800 <clears throat> with passengers and everything i got it set up for a two-seater and you add up all this extra weight bumpers tires that 33 inch swamper right there is probably 100 pounds i'm still under the factory specs but you start adding like a overland rig full kitchen back here and all kinds of extra stuff and rooftop tent and you put bumpers and when i took my bumpers all the factory tow hooks which like they're like 10 pounds a piece all the extra steel brackets and factory bumpers <clears throat> i just minus that off what i was putting on so i knew to keep under that 
you add up too much stuff on your vehicle and you're a thousand three thousand pounds over what your axles are rated for you're going to bust axles you're going to start snapping stuff you're going to blow out shocks you're going <clears> to <throat> come into a lot of problems you start adding under armor and all that this came with factory military front skid plate uh, rear gas tank skid plate uh, I added a Terraflex front diff cover because I was hitting rocks with that so it went from that thin front diff cover to about 3 8 inch thick solid <clears throat> I don't got to worry about bumping into rocks this must must have recovery gear right over there there's a average medical kit first aid kit if i'm going camping or anything kind of major uh i have a duffel bag or backpack <clears throat> that has like water purification fire starters snacks basically survival survival pack and like i said all this is just kind of thrown in here it's all got it certain place this sits right next to me with that <clears throat> so all i have to do is reach down grab it quick velcro strap hold that in good to go <clears throat> and since the world's kind of crazy it's never left in my vehicle but it's always on me so yeah Thanks for watching. Happy New Year. If anybody needs any links to any of this stuff, you can normally just Amazon it, eBay it, but I highly recommend this. This wasn't much more, I think, under 40. <clears throat> this whole setup here with the lock was 30, 40 bucks. Way better than anything you can get at Walmart. Like I said, this is solid block steel. <clears throat> not hollow but yep I have some medical kits my backpack that I carry it's full trauma kit like major injury splints that's a whole different med kit than what I keep in here tourniquets there's a lot of, lot of little gear you should have because you never know winch cord snaps something someone gets hit by a rock slips on a trail you want to be able to have medical gear if you're carrying a firearm stuff can happen you want to be able to try to save a life so yep thanks for watching